Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Please consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing with your friends, and commenting whichever you want to comment. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an NFS server on your Red Hat based machine. In my case, it's going to be Alma Linux. I believe it's going to be the same on almost any Red Hat based distro, whether it's Rocky Linux or Red Hat itself, or maybe Fedora there are any differences or if you faced any errors or issues just tell me so the first command I'm gonna follow this tutorial in general this page I will put it in this description as usual and let's start the first command is to run this one first command to run is this one NFS utils you run dnf install nfs utils as root in my case it's installed and I have two versions somehow probably it's for the alternatives you know the alternative uh, yeah I don't know it's uh, something that use it for some applications like Java or stuff and then we go to this configuration file and the domain and command and put your local host if you don't have a domain in my case it's Alma I believe you know what it is save and exit and then you can start the server NFS server by running this command you can enable it also if you want like this with the other command let's check if it started you, they say in the tutorial that you can do such thing with running this command it's running all right so let's create directories that they mention yes this one this one this will make two, two directories for you. The first one is shared, the second one is backup within MNT. And then you change the ownership this way to nobody, nobody, the group and the user to the, the username nobody, which means anyone aside from the normal users or the known users for the systems, for the system that you're using and their group. And then you change also the file permission for these two directories like this all right and then you go to your exports slash etc slash exports these these tabs are a little similar to my tutorial that I have done for uh, the NFS server on OpenSUSE but there is some difference I will put it for you if you want and the cards I'll put uh, that tutorial all right so here yes here it says that you can put the client this one I'm gonna put 93 10.0.0.93 for you you can decide or I guess this one you can omit it this is the client that I'm using here which is with the IP address 10.0.0.93 you can make the whole network able to connect to it by changing this to the gateway and then here this is for home 93 I believe this thing can be skipped I mean you don't put any IP address here but it can be safer to decide whoever is gonna be your client uh, anyone anyone else is going to be dropped you save you save and exit let's check it saved I guess yep exit and then let's restart the NFS server service the the other commands the previous commands for starting the NFS server are optional because you're gonna restart anyway and if you did not run those commands for starting and enabling I did not enable by the way I didn't run this command 
you can run it because it's optional if you want to start manually every time you want to start the server you just run this command it's not it's better to have the least uh, services for security and for having a faster server or faster machine that's why I decide to run manually every time I want to start the server I will just run this command for you if you want to enable it and make it running automatically every time you start your computer you should run this command okay so if you didn't run any of these two commands especially this one you should just run this one without restart but instead start okay and then we run this command let's check the status status clear the screen and then we run export fs okay if it's successful they say you should run uh, see these direct like the output similar to the one that i got here check yours anyway now it's time to enable the ports or the services through the firewall which is firewall d the default one for red hat based distros I'm gonna skip put in permanent because I wanna do manually start the service and manually enable these services on the firewall. In your case you can add dash dash permanent. In my case I'm not gonna do it like this. And then you reload your firewall. Sometimes this is optional, you don't need to run it, but I'm gonna simply run it. And then let's check the services that were enabled to check the ones that we have enabled right now if they are added or not so yep they aren't added let's run the command again and check now they are added okay because I didn't specify dash, dash permanent as I guess alright so now we will try to mount our uh, our NFS on our client alright so if we want to mount we simply run the command sudo mount IP address of our server the folder that we want to mount, to mount and then the mount point in my case I'm gonna put it in slash home slash username slash public in my case the username is lulu press enter and then you will get it mounted on your system So you can see it mounted as you can see here. Let's check the properties. I can paste also to it. I have a file. Permission denied. I guess we need to change the configuration in our slash etc slash uh, exports. Check the. F I did that in the video of. Open SUSE to allow the user. You need to add sub uh, that sub D. I will find the one that you need. Alright, so first of all, you need to go to your client, NFS client, and then run ID and your username like this. And in my case, it's 1000. In my case, it's 1000. So you go to your server and then to every folder you want to be able to read and write you add these two ones with the ID that you get in my case is 1000 in your case it can be anything else you save and exit and then you restart the NFS server like this let's paste let's do like this let's mount again go back and paste 